A sudden return of the population provided the necessary energy for the emergence to begin. And there was one filmmaker that could bring that to the screen, the humanity and the scale and the epic nature of that, and it's Academy Award winner, Chloe Zhao. Good. With the comic, um, what Jack Kirby has created, uh, the story of Eternals, existed sort of on the peripheral of uh, all these popular characters at the time. And I think he was trying to tell a really big cosmic and universal story, but through this very intimate moment between the individuals. And I love that aspect of the way he tells stories. And that's how the vision of Eternals is inspired. The movie is huge in terms of scale and stakes. What was your approach to keeping intimate moments and character moments balanced with the action and the spectacle? Well, I think, you know, one of the first things that, um, one of the first things I pitched to Marvel was a uh, William Blake poem. And that poem tells us that you can find the endless beauty and meanings of the cosmos in the smallest things on the planet. So from the very beginning, finding that balance was the challenge that will make the movie what it is. And so it's all about making sure um, every character, every relationship gets its time to breathe. And the shots gets to breathe because audiences are able to, not necessarily depending on the fancy camera moves, but discovering what's within the frame and make their own conclusion of what's this character's relationship with the world they're living in. Because the film is so much about our relationship with the planet and with ourselves. How important was it for you to shoot on location and use practical sets? It's kind of what I was saying earlier, um, that you have to really believe these uh, immortal beings have walked the Earth for 7,000 years. In order to do this kind of wide angle, longer takes with deep focus, shooting on the stage, you will run out of you know, frame very quickly. It has to be done on location. Also, you don't want to miss the kind of spontaneous moment that your cast is interacting with the real world. And you have limitation of the real world, which is time of day, weather, things like that. That's what makes us human. You know, and, and to humanize immortal characters, if you put them all on the stage, it's a very difficult thing to do. What was it like working with such a large, diverse ensemble cast? What does that diversity add to the film? When I came into the project, uh, there was already a treatment. And I think Marvel had made a lot of great decisions, be inclusive and allow audiences today to see themselves on the screen. What excites me even more is that these individuals are unique beyond what they look like and what they represent. It's for me even more exciting that someone who doesn't look like this person or love the same way or believe the same things might feel for that person as well. And it's very important to build that bridge the film spans thousands of years and time periods. What kind of research did you do for the costumes and historical periods? I work with two brilliant um, um, women, Eve Stewart and uh, Sammy Shelton, our, our production designer and costume designer. One of the very first things we ask ourselves is that why are they here? Is it military? Is it missionary? You know, uh, we really want the story to inspire the design. We also did a lot of backtracking. We looked at, we looked at every um, culture we can think of, symbols that they consider sacred, colors that had inspired in their religious art, and try to backtrack to imagine if those things were our interpretation of what we saw if those 10 had walked the earth from the beginning. Tell us why the eternal spaceship the Dom, Domo was such an important build.
Every family story has a dining room scene when everything happens, unravels. The Eternals are nomadic. And the Domo is really their home. It's their connection to their past as well, to the Celestials. And uh, building the Domo, we really thought about, um, let's not contemplate the greatest technology in the universe, which is the Celestial technology, with what we understand as humans wires, computers, screens, no. The most advanced technology in the universe, I think a lot of people have predicted, will look as close to nature as possible in the shape of minerals. And um, so that, that was a, a fun thing to play. What was it like working with the Marvel Studios filmmakers and crews? Working with Marvel has been a, such an incredible experience. One thing that I love the most is that it's actually a very small team. There's a <laughs> very small team, and uh, a lot of big decisions are made one text away with you know two to three people, uh, and that has been incredible. And I think they really created a bubble for me to be safe and to play. And if I want to fly, they, you know gave me wings, but if I fall, I know they're going to catch me. So having that safety night really allowed me to take a lot of risks. What do you hope audiences experience when they see the film? Well, I hope, I hope when audiences see this film, uh, they have a great time on this crazy adventure throughout time, and they get to meet and fall in love with 10 brand new characters. Uh, they get to experience explore the origin of the MCU, which is very exciting. And, but also, you know, if they want to, maybe ponder some existential questions that our ancestors has been asking since the beginning. Perfect, thank you so much. Thank you.